I'm going to completely convince you that uh, eyesight is more important. You can't hit what you can't, you can't see. see. <laughs> Welcome back to the longest running ever podcast, the Chalky Milk Gang, season two, episode five. We have our usual crew, Alex, Tyler, Will, and then we also have our first ever, second ever, my bad, second ever special guest, Andrew Badesky. Desk, welcome to the pod. Thanks very much, Chima. What, what chocolate milk are you drinking? Uh, I am drinking the famous Stop and Shop chocolate low-fat milk. Oh, okay, it? great. I, um, before, I, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but this glass is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones, I drink and I know things, and I'm going to bring it to the table tonight. Good stuff. Um, before we start, just to go over what we're talking about today, we're going to give our usual Chalky Milk review. We got some good uh, good additions into this podcast, uh, as obviously, as usual, the uh, 0 out of 10 rookie score. No rookie score. Uh, our statement regarding strawberry milk, there's been a lot of uh, controversy regarding the topic. Uh, we're going to address that today, as well as some would-you-rathers. We're just going to you know, have a debate argument style. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Uh, who wants to review their chalky milk first? I know Tyler doesn't have his today, but that's okay. We I'll go. All right. I mean, I got the same as last week. Oh, nice uh, glass. Stu Leonard stuff. What? Because it's oh, small. Stu Leonard's is good chocolate milk, man. Dude, uh, this this goes out to all my uh, my other chalky milk lovers that not like lactose intolerant, but like you know, like whole milk. It doesn't sit well all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. So we go we go short glass. Same as last week. I think it's like a nine point one or nine point two or something. Really? That's strong. I like that. All right, Des, how about you? All right, let me go. Can I smell it? Ooh, that's a strong smell. I'm not going to lie. This could turn out pretty good. (laughs) You know what? It kind of resonates in the mouth a little bit, so it's got a strong flavor. Good mouthfeel. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. And then, so, I don't know. I've had the Stu Leonard's chocolate milk before, and that one's pretty good. I'm going to have to give this one an 8.6 8.6 no rookie score 8.6 yeah thank That's you for not really doing good. the rookie Damn. score i uh, really appreciate that uh for mine i'm having trouble getting the wrapping off but this is probably the most <laughs> interesting chalky milk that we have ever reviewed on this podcast we got the snickers known for their candy oh. bars they entered the chalky milk mm-hmm. gang with the That's chocolate low-fat milk natural and artificial flavor 14 boys. 13. It's made with fuel milk. Let's uh, dive into this. Uh, all the wrapping comes off. And we got this little boy right here. I want to, I want to hear about it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous. I don't have high hopes for this type I, of thing. I, I for I this off brand, hopes. like, for like, you know, like a different company to candy see bar. if they can enter the chalky milk game. There's no way it can be that high. I'm going to predict bar. that. Snickers this... coming into the milk gang is like Sour Patch coming into the ice cream gang. Yeah, which they have, they have and this is not, it's not that good. This is not good. <laughs> I predict that this is going to get a 9.0 on the no rookie score scoring system. But, uh, what? Oh, this should be interesting. Okay. I, I, I predict good things. I mean, it'll definitely be at least a 7.5. Um, we got Snickers bars notes right off the bat with a smell. Let's go ahead and dive right in. That is pretty good. I'm going to say it. Uh, <laughs> It does not beat Trader Joe's. It does not beat Stu Leonard's, but it's mm-hmm. interesting because, you know, you have some really good chocolate milk flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't taste cheap like a true moo, but you, the Snickers vibe in it, it's there and it's really good. Um, let's go in for another sip. No one, one sip. Everyone knows the rules. I really taking it down. Um, that, was, that was a big sip. <laughs> Nine one. Nine wow. one. Nine one. Wow. It that is it. really it good. It. Oh my god. Damn. I would have I'm not gonna I would have expected it to be so much more artificial. Like you don't think that when Snickers makes the chocolate milk, they're gonna try to put any quality into it. But. Snickers but did it. But if it, it right. tastes like a Snickers, the yeah, chocolate it, part of a Snickers. It, that that was excellent. Not bad. Uh, Snickers has always been one of my favorite candy bars. I gotta also give a shout out to like, Three Musketeers. It's also one of my favorites. Three Musketeers. But Snickers really strong on this one you know a lot of brands they come out here and they just you know they do it just to 
get their name out there. But this this brand right here, Snickers, they did it right. They went out there and actually produced the very strong chocolate milk. lower and milk, faster. So, um, oh, oh, yeah, we got fun. Dude, he's, going, Desk, he's going for the full waiter experience. Desk is a really strong pourer. He should work at a restaurant. Oh, he slipped. <laughs> Didn't spill it. We're good. Didn't Let's go. It? Nope. That is crazy. All right. I'm going to give that, I'm gonna give that <laughs> pouring a 10.0. Yeah, this Let's morning go. I was Let's eating see. a bagel, like open faced with cream cheese, and it like fell out of my hand, but I caught it. Cream cheese uh, size up. It was pretty sick. I'm, that's on like this podcast. Pretty cool. Yeah, no, that's like marriage music right there. Oh <laughs> one, my god! One kid said yes. One kid said no. You can maybe do it. Would you sure. want to hear burping in a podcast you're listening? I, to? I don't I mean, know if I, I would. would. I think I don't it would be pretty would. funny, but like, okay. Um, I mean, it's just like poor production quality. Yeah. All right. We'll give so the people before, what they want. Before we get into the would you rather's, I just, uh, I just had a crunchy peanut butter sandwich, and I just want to know: Are you guys smooth or crunchy? Because I've always been smooth. But I mean, I kind of like crunchy. I'm so allergic I like to it. peanut butter, but if I had to choose, I'd probably yeah. pick not crunchy just because, I don't know, just you're chewing it and like you expect it to be soft and then you just get this random like these chunks in it. Well, I don't if know. The chunks if you are know good, man. you're eating a crunchy peanut butter, you are expecting there to be Dude, peanuts. The, the crunch, man. You need that crunch. I've Dude. always been a smooth guy myself, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just... I like texture. Sometimes I like the textures of food to be uniform. Sometimes I don't mind it. And in this case, it's kind of nice, a little bit, a little diversity there. Yeah. No, I, I, I like the crunchiness. It tastes more earthy. It tastes more natural. You feel healthier when you do it. Because, you know, it's not just, you know, butter and whatever, artificials. You got real peanuts in there. I'm a big fan of that. I don't know. Oh. I honestly, I feel like when I'm eating peanut butter, you know, get a PB and J sandwich going. I like the crunch to come from the whole wheat bread because that's the healthiest part, you know. Huh. I don't yeah. usually soft eat peanut butter gang. I was, it's not I my, was it's not my favorite. Okay, my so favorite way to go, we have but... to hold up. We just got a new subscriber. I got the notification. Underscore my cat Nala. <laughs> Welcome to the Chalky yeah. Milk Gang. Welcome. Let's go subscriber number that's thirty-eight. Unreal. Road to a thousand. We're just seeing a few more. You're watching this. Mm-hmm. Congrats! Yeah. On the uh, if you're Congrats. watching this, you're the real G. Yeah, yeah. Keep uh, in mind, okay. if you ever want to get a live notification about our subscribers and how many we have, just go to this video or any other video, and you can use that to find our live stream where we announce every subscriber. We take shifts every eight hours. Yeah, so totally on it all the time. <laughs> Is it? We'll announce you if you subscribe. That's a totally We're just sitting thing. by the phone, just yes. staring at that little yeah. bar. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you may in fact see me finish this chocolate milk by the end of the episode. I think that'd be strong. I think that'd be a strong showing and uh, good for health, personally. It's a great yeah. way to give yourself yeah. lactose intolerance. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're yeah. gonna run out of lactase pretty fast. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Um, look, overall, uh, look, I know we'd say we'd get to would you rather's, but we have a really important topic that we have to uh, give our points on. Look, there's been a lot of controversy within our subscribers regarding the topic of strawberry milk. Uh, look, just a little background on strawberry milk. It is the rival to chocolate milk, chalky milk, strawby milk. Uh, it's it's pretty much a major rivalry. Um, I'm a, Let's put some memes up in here uh, while this is going from the chalky milk Facebook page. Uh, look, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my opinion on strawby milk it's not there. It's not okay. It's never been okay. Uh, strawberry milk is never going to happen, man. It's never going to be what chalky milk is. All right. I see it. I see it this way. You, you can never have too much chocolate milk, but you can definitely have too much chalky milk like that. Sometimes like you just, it just gets gross. Yeah. It's not, it's not good. It's not Not good. It's just zero out of 10. It's so unnatural. Like chocolate milk, you could, even if it's also really artificial, you can like imagine oh. it. It's like, yeah, you take chocolate, you melt it down, you mix it uh-huh. in. Strawberry. Yeah. I mean, they're not using strawberries. They're using that red dye. Are. Like, you know, the it's clear red. one. It's just not. not also, good. what are strawberries? Like, what are they? I don't think they're real. I've I don't never know heard of strawberry. Yo, in you my put life. seeds on the outside of the fruit. That's yeah, all that's I'm saying. somebody who just that's was coming up with an idea, like, "Oh, let's make up this fruit." I don't know seeds on the outside. That's a, that could be cool. It, Get out of here, man! Strawberries are like your cards. blue raspberry flavored stuff. Like, what are we doing here? You, you know, you know when you have like a chocolate milk, even it's if it's Snickers edition, you know what it's made of. It's made of chocolate. What is strawberry milk made of? We don't know. Listen, 
at the end of the day, chocolate milk is this like beautiful, artisanal, smooth, rich, flavorful drink. And, mm-hmm. you know, it just, it, when you compare that to strawberry milk, it just doesn't hold up. That, that, that's, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Strawberry milk just does not hold up. It never it's has, lucky never that will. we're even talking about them in the same sentence. Oh my mm-hmm. god! If anything, they Last like that we're talking time. about them, even if it's negative, because at least it's giving them some form of recognition. All publicity is good publicity, so we better stop talking about strawberry right, milk. Yeah, not, not, right, no, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Lesser, all right. Um, all right. So, would you rather? Uh, yeah, our, I'll say the first one. Now it seems obvious, but you know who knows about what everybody thinks. If you had to lose a sense. Would you rather lose the ability to see or the ability to hear? Um, for, for me, straight up, I'm going to say I'd rather lose hearing. It's just like I need to see things straight up. I know that uh, like if you – here's the thing. Like if you, lose, if you lose hearing, people can write stuff out to you. It's not like you're never going to be able to understand other people. Um, losing hearing, like, look, it's terrible. I want to hear music. I want to hear sounds. But – eyesight i i just can't imagine like not seeing you guys on this podcast right now stuff like that so i'm gonna say uh losing hearing i'm gonna i'm gonna piggyback off that and say the exact same thing (laughs) i'll miss music i really will i love music but Mm. i think just like quality of life it would be an easier adjustment obviously like you could lead a great quality of life either way but you know we're such visual people and like, I think it's just, a, there's a lot more to offer there, but man, I'd miss uh, self-control for an ocean. Mm, that mm. would, that'd be a tough blow. I miss some logic. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, like, I just, sign language is awesome. Like, I, I mean, losing hearing would suck, but dude, I love sign language. That'd be sign sick. Sign language is cool. Like, it looks cool when people signs. are doing it, you know, but, like, like I don't freaking know. I'm not even going to try to pretend that I know. But this like, is how you say raccoon. It looks awesome when people are doing it and they're <laughs> interacting. You're like, whoa, like, that's so cool. Like, I don't know. You could learn just, to read that, lips. Com- yeah, that comparing to, like, losing sight, it's, like, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's no-brainer. You, know, you know how you say strawberry milk in uh, sign language? You say... <laughs> that's what about you i am the unpopular opinion in this that's why i asked i knew there as be you one. always yeah. are yeah um i've actually thought about this before i don't know why it's just like why not but uh have you ever like when you're sick and you your like your sinuses are so like just stuck and your ears just really plug up to the point where you can't hear anything and there's like low-key a ring in your ears but that's it like you can't hear anything else counterpoint have you ever woken up and your eyes are crusty and you can't open them i low-key yep. like that i think it's funny that's so stupid you, you want to do that for the rest of your <laughs> yeah, life all right, oh, but so like i actually are funny. but i hear no <laughs> Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Wait, you I, said it. You said fuck. it. Man. But uh, <laughs> but like I don't know. I just when that happens and I hear that ringing in my ears, I kind of go crazy a little bit. And it's not if like that a ring, happened my whole you can't life. Hear anything? No, not I know, but I can't. Not even just the ringing, but like I can't even. I can't hear, and it just it honestly almost get like parent like i almost like get paranoid by it because i'm like oh my god that's because you like think you're losing if you are if you wake up you're like here if you wake up like i I can't see which would you rather more all right i don't know why i I just that's what i'm i'm definitely the unpopular opinion in this but i just i don't know it just seems like it'd be a boring question if we all oh yeah if we all took the same i'm glad we had somebody with a hot take Mm -hmm. but you are wrong (laughs) <laughs> you're incorrect agree to disagree i disagree i mean to be fair actually, like so. you said you and lose i agree on a lot of stuff but there's so much stuff you lose if you stop being able to hear as well like you said music is huge but like even if you even if you lose like your hearing and you still have your eyesight there is so much you still can't do you never play sports again like that's going away regardless. There are so oh, many things that you're yeah. gonna lose, no matter which which sense you take away. Yeah. I mean, I did there's, rowing, there's which you can literally do if you're blind. Your I mean, there I, are some yeah, sports for you to play, but it is there are way modifications. Harder. 
Yeah. Like, depending on the sport, it is. It could be difficult. I don't know. Like I just. I'd feel say like, it's worse if you're blind because it's like. I, the only reason I think you'd stuff. be more paranoid is because you literally like can't hear if there's someone coming up behind you or something, yeah, and I just you get startled. That's a true lot, either like. way. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I'm leaning towards hearing. I don't know why. It's just kind of my my thing. Well, it's it's like, desk. How about this? not that losing my sight would be any like that would suck. Look, here's but, uh, here's the thing, Desk. I'm going to say this right here, right now. Uh, look, I'm going to completely convince you that uh, eyesight is more important. You can't hit what you can't, you can't see. see. <laughs> desk yearbook quote, the best yearbook quote of all time. You can't hit what you can't see. That is to Jared Edwards. That's going on the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> look, what, what, do, you what do you think now? You do you think hearing is better? What if you, what if you can't? What if you can't hit stuff? Can't see, man. <laughs> All right. All right. I went. <laughs> okay. So the next one: Would you rather be able to speak every language, and that includes like hearing, reading, speaking, understanding, or be able to speak to animals in the same way? You can listen. You can uh, talk to them. Mm. That's tough. I That's could really start tough. if you want. I think I got a pretty convincing sure. answer. So. It's twofold because there's a pro and a con for it. So definitely speak every language. Why I wouldn't want to speak to animals if I could speak to every language is because what are they really going to say? Yeah, you could talk to your dog. I have a very good counterpoint. But that's going to like, that's kind of get old. And like, oh, I could talk to squirrels. What are they going to tell you? Like maybe it's fun for a day, but then you look around you're like, oh, I could have spoken every language. I'll go next for that. Oh, yeah, you, oh, you're speaking okay. every language, languages can be sexy. They could help you uh, get, a job. get more cultured. Yeah, get more jobs and jobs different are places. Cool. It makes you so uh, like irreplaceable. If you, it's like, oh, we need somebody that speaks Chinese. Like, I got it. And Arabic and like Russian. You're working anywhere you want. No pun intended, but you'd be pretty fluent, meaning like you could just flow through countries and it, it wouldn't make a difference. I think you mean fluid sure <laughs> whatever that's true traveling would be a lot easier yeah. and you could you could really like connect with the people there a lot more and you wouldn't have to stay at like a hotel you could really yeah like, you could be more for the boys culture you know Absolutely. i see the pros in being able to speak every language but here's my here's my uh, counter for that have you ever stepped on a dog's tail and you try so hard to apologize to it when it's like whimpering in the corner, but you just know it doesn't matter how many times you say sorry, they just don't understand? Yes, well, now but, you, but counterpoint now you can. to your counterpoint, dogs forget things. They, they don't do, take they it do. personally. Somebody steps on you and you don't like that person, you might take it personally. Animals don't do that. At least dogs don't. So... <laughs> But see, oh, yeah. the thing is, you see and, all those videos or, of people going to army, and then you come back, and then yeah, the dogs you know what? like that. That love is good enough. Talk to me with your actions. That uh, that's fair. I trust Look, that my dog knows I love him. I'd say I'm pro languages at this point, just because you know we're in a recession right now, and uh, getting a job when you know every language is a lot easier than uh, getting a job when you know one language, and that language is English. Uh, but I also well, you would know two languages, animal. That that is true. Here's the thing. <laughs> Wait, does I, that mean that you could speak uh, French to a French animal? Like, well, it in, doesn't speak French. It just speaks yeah. Animal. No, desk now. Like That's whatever not language. Works. But yeah. look, to finish my point, here's the thing. I want to know if my dog actually loves me or not. I'm pretty sure he See? does, but like, you, he, he's never said I love you to me. He's He's given off all the signals, but you never know. It's like when a when you think you when you think if you ask a girl out, she'll say yes, but you don't actually know. She's just shown signals. But you don't actually know until you actually pop the question. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. Yes, but like I like to know because I love my dog. That's the thing. And I also Respect like that. also like my dog, like all at like he always wants treats, right? But there are some other situations where, like, he needs to go outside to go to the bathroom or something. But I'll ask him all these questions, and he'll just stay silent. So it's like him actually telling me what – Hey, speak up, bro. What uh, he would actually want. Like, that would be important for me just in terms of my personal relationship with my dog, Asher. Uh, but I'll – look, the thing is languages are more important right now, and they always will be. But understand both sides.
See, if you could understand animals and you're just walking down the street and there's just some like bug flying next to you and you just hear like, yo, you want to fight or something? Like, I don't know. That would freak me out. Oh, really? That's yeah, crazy. I don't know. I, th- I got to agree with Andrew on this one. I really? think animals is way more Thank useful you. than Thank you. Useful. How often do you talk with somebody who speaks a different language? I'm well, going to say we're 20 one, years like, old. Four days and we out live of in 365. Yeah. We, like yeah, in your everyday, in your everyday life, I'm pretty sure everybody you know talks and speaks in English. Like or the majority of people you know speak English. Like well, what if you want to like leave America not that useful. Whereas, and go to and, another country? Well, then sure, you would be able to do that, and that's kind of cool. But like, Canada we already exist. live lives where we don't need to do that. And going further, like like into the future, think like 10, 20, 30 years, people are just going to keep learning English. Their own like home languages are going to become less and less frequent and less and less important. Yeah. That's what's already happening right now. All over the world, people are learning English in addition to the, like, whether it be French, Spanish, you mm-hmm. know, Mandarin, whatever it is. But then on top of that, like, like regardless of the importance of speaking other languages speaking to animals is like way more helpful than you guys are making it out now oh, hold think on I what have you a could question. do with okay, okay. Done. sure oh no you can no, no, like, finish yeah finish just think of what you could do with a loaf of bread you can go up to like an army of birds and be like hey help me out with this thing and i'll feed you and then they can do whatever you're you have like cinderella Your super own cinderella yeah like My that's only awesome. hiccup with that though that's is that so cool a lot of these animals we're anthropomorphizing them and like, I'm like literally. If you could like communicate with them, like they communicate, but they don't like. They're not gonna like do stuff necessarily. But maybe you understand, like, because they don't necessarily like a lot of these animals don't necessarily have like a language. Language they don't speak to each other, but like bees talk like, to each other through dancing and music, and you can understand that, and you do it yourself. Well, so if you like if you if you do their version of communication, you kind of show what you want to do. Maybe that, that's how it's done, and maybe they'll still help you out that way. Yeah, let me put it this maybe. way as well. We already have, like, um, like semi-intelligent um, animals that were around in everyday life, and if you can train those, which I'm sure it's way easier to do when you can communicate with them, then you can, be, like, you know, be able to sort of convince them to do things you want. I don't know, like, I'm not, like, you know, uh, I don't know what the... I'm not a biologist. I don't know the intricacies of how animals work, but I would have to assume that for animals like, I don't know, hawks or something, you can like, if you were able to communicate with them, you could be able to train them and teach them. The crows, sure. And you could have like literally like an army of animals to help you do things like every day. Like, like oh, I said, what's the, to what's some, that some thing called in Game Cinderella of Thrones that they can control That is animals? way cooler than being able to speak warg. Chinese. Like, I don't know. What are they called? War, warg. A warg. You could become uh, your own warg. That's different because they just like became the animal. Not true. So, yeah. That and is true. all I'm saying, yeah. if you're looking for a job, if you can speak to animals, you could literally become your own dog. No one's going to believe you if you can speak to <laughs> animals. So yeah, that's I, like, like, I can talk to hey, these animals. I can talk to pigeons. I first. can tell this crow to go do this thing. And they're going to be like, and you do it. You're like, okay, cool. You trained it. Every Like you can train animals. Sick. I don't know. So if you like, there's a, if you want to like flex your abilities, yeah animals like you don't got much credibility because they can't they're just not going to believe you. yeah but your credibility is in like a, if there's a sick animal and you save it you know okay well, if you're lose, if you're looking to boost your ego a little bit then sure do the languages if you actually want a skill then learn how to well, use I mean, animals i mean they're both skills one's you can take language classes cool. and just boost now that hold GPA. on is this question like you can only know one language but you can speak to every animal and yeah you well, speak english only That's but just, like can you learn yourself the if hard you, way yeah, if you already if you if you already are, know like english like and spanish I, yeah, then I it's not like spanish. you're just gonna go down i'm not gonna just get rid of that That's ability. another good point is you can as des said you can still learn to speak spanish and mandarin and french you can't learn how to speak to animals that's not an not ability yet. that anybody will ever be able to like work Do. through in our lifetime speaking to every animal much less even one like Yep. Which right. one? Which one's like more important? You know. Um, hey, another interesting topic right there. Look. Yeah. I'm he, glad we have you all today. seen that uh that Google thing and like Google commercials on YouTube? They have this thing where you like talk into something and then it will uh speak out in another language. And yeah. Then, uh, I've so also like, seen one where it's like thing. a earpiece where it does that. Learning languages may become obsolete if that thing is like a thing. You so maybe what? the animals is cooler. 
You know what I mean? Perhaps. Yeah. Have you ever Perhaps. seen the one with like that? You, you basically put an earpiece in your ear and then the person you're talking to, and then when you speak, like it comes through their ear as Is that their a language. Thing yet? I'm not sure, but I've seen I don't that. I know before. if it's around yet, but maybe that maybe will it's be just in soon, maybe it's probably. just in yeah the works. But like I saw that and I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I saw that in Westworld, and that takes place in like an alternate future type thing. So, but that's definitely possible. Like that's. I mean, not... yeah, it's just it's a our technology for like language comprehension is not that good yet. No, I mean like, like, talking Google Translate. Siri, it's not very good. Google Translate. <laughs> Google Translate's all right. Google My mom's turning. like trying to call me, but she doesn't know that we're filming the podcast. I'm trying to text her, and she's like, she's not responding. So it's Yo, okay. Bring her it's on, man. Bring nah, her nah, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Um, our next one in the realm of superpowers: Would you rather be invisible or be able to fly? Fly, fly. any day. Easy. That is like my favorite thing ever. Flying. Wait, imagine like mean? not being after. Imagine not having to spend money on go air wherever travel. The, you can go wherever gonna, you wanted. I'm going to make this claim, though, because a lot of people are like, oh, if you're invisible, you can see your clothes. We'll say, like, stuff on your person is also invisible just to save the ease of that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Yeah, but being invisible is low-key creepy. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of that's, that's, that's true. I would it's agree. Like, what am I really going to do with that? <laughs> it's not yeah. applicable. Like, no. <laughs> Oof, that'd, be, that'd be fun. Yeah, like the whole, I Fine. mean, the whole reason you would be invisible would be to do something stealthy without other people knowing. I kind of see the appeal to that. To if you're a criminal, like, but again, that's yeah, low key. Yeah, if you're, you're going to be like a criminal, then, like, that's kind of cool. Which creepy. But, yeah. <laughs> like, none of us four are criminals, so it doesn't make any sense. No. Not yet. Who's the, I mean, 2021, who knows, man? Yeah, no, like the future is definitely there for us, but I'd say I think it's pretty unlikely that we're going to make a criminal crime or anything knock on wood the but, best uh, superpower and this is a fact is um telekinesis probably not true where nope. you can like oh, wait, wait, let me just explain in depth because you can control anything with your mind want to be invisible you control the light waves to move around you or to not reflect off you yeah. you want to look different you could like manipulate the light waves so it makes a different appearance you want to fly you just move yourself I, th- I think you're right. like a cop Straight. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's like, it's like, what is telekinesis? Moving matter with your brain. You, you could argue that like photons doesn't matter, but they kind of are. That's some brain type stuff right there. That's, that's the stuff you learn at Tufts. Okay. I, that just seems <laughs> like going tough. off technicalities, but I guess, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Everything's a technicality. Yeah, I was about to say everything. Yeah. If you do your research. Like, so, okay. So if I like, Put a jetpack on when I'm invisible, then I can fly and be invisible, right? Yeah, but you gotta finagle a jetpack. Well, okay, yeah, that's a whole other thing. But like, I don't know. Just if so, therefore I can put anything on. If I attach a backpack to literally anything, then that thing will also be invisible, right? Well, like, yeah, but I mean that's just because I was being nice because I didn't think anybody would be invisible and nobody was invisible either. Yeah, but as you said, technicalities. So. Yeah, well, technically, if you're invisible, stuff you're wearing isn't going to be invisible. But, you know, for the the sake of the argument, it's trying to make it more even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I think uh, most of us are all on the same wavelength in terms yeah, of Yeah, we're, we're all here for flying. I, I just, I'm just curious, like, how is that, like, how is that, like, uh, like generally useful? Because I feel like if you were to start flying, flying around, you can go anywhere in the like, world for Oh, free. my God. And then you'd be a celebrity. And then, like, I don't know. I'm down. I'm picturing it as like slightly like how fast could you reasonably fly? Maybe yes. like twice as fast as you can run. So where are you really well, going to? Well, no, it, that depends. Like if you can fly like you can run, then you can always run faster if you train yourself to do that. Well, there's a maximum speed and it's well, like, like an of air resistance thing. and shit, but like. Well, there's you physically cannot run faster than so a So flying, you don't even hour. have to deal with because you're not actually like doing anything physical. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure has if to flying be a is, like, physical. Yeah, your air resistance when you fly, you know. Well, you, I'm also like, saying, like, I, I don't imagine a human flying at Mach 6. Maybe, like, how fast can a human? Because they're... But we don't know. It could be really fast. I know, but I'm just be, saying, like, in, for the sake of, like, the discussion, Tyler's question, like, how practical is it? And you said, well, you could go anywhere you want for free. It's like, yeah, that's true, but how efficient is it really? Like, we how, don't know. How far... It, yeah, no, no shit, desk. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious. 
I agree. Um, yeah. What's the next one? The next one, would you rather – this one's one with, like, kind of no wrong answer. Would you rather play – be able to play every musical instrument, like, know how to do it, and, like, let's say you do it reasonably well, or be reasonably good at every sport? I'm, I'm going to have to go sports here just because sports are more popular. It's going to generate more money. People know more sports. There's so many people who go to sporting events. Also, just like being like being a professional sports athlete, so much clout in that. There's not as well, much clout in being a professional. Wait, what do we mean musician? reasonably? I was not sports. thinking professional. I was thinking like, oh, you know, like if, you, if you play like pickup basketball, it's like, oh, that kid's pretty good. Uh, well, there's still Imagine more clout being in like that. that there's, good there's really like clout. every sport yeah. you play. And yeah. also, if you're reasonably good at most sports, you're probably pretty athletic and healthy as well. Exactly. Down. So that probably bodes well for your living life. Yeah. I would, uh, I would agree with the sports <laughs> because – or Tyler, you, you say yours. I, I almost – I don't know. I almost go both ways because I think of, like, reasonably good at sports – I'm already like not that bad at the majority of sports, and I don't. I'm not trying to like, except flex for baseball. Anything. You can't but, like, hit yeah. anything. I like, throw. <laughs> like when okay, so I'm not trying <laughs> at baseball, but like most other sports, I'm at least okay at. And I don't know. It just doesn't like I've said before. It doesn't seem very applicable to get a little bit better at like some sports, and then also really good at sports. I'll probably never play, like. Like, it'll also That's probably true. make me really good at, like, croquet. I'm never going to use that. Who cares? Oh, um, that attitude. You're ooh. <laughs> but I with all know. of that That's said. To go off of this question, I have a I have a – is chess a sport? Well, chess is a sport. It is probably the most athletic <laughs> yeah. sport we've ever seen. I, like, I have that respect you're good for chess, chess players. I consider a sport have to do, like, competition and athleticism. If it's just competition, it's, like – Bro, moving just the pieces, like a, like an mad activity or like a game or something like Dude. that. I don't know. Like archery, too. Uh, You're telling me you don't build Olympics, a sweat when you But archery chess? is more like stability, which is... Archery, there is, is like an actual, like, your physical attributes. Of like you can't move. Like, you have to be com- like com- like a literal tree. You can't move when you're shooting it. Think about this. Uh, a quadriplegic would be able to play chess, like, against a completely normal person whereas in other more universally recognized sports you'd have to do a legit modified sport against somebody of equal body type so Mm -hmm. have you seen that guy the olympic uh, medalist who doesn't have arms the archer who like shoots it with his foot yeah that's pretty cool yeah that's awesome but going back to tyler's point about Mm -hmm. the sports versus instruments i'd agree like most of the sports that I have an interest of playing, I'm good enough at. And if I really want to be better at it, like that's something I could like do. And it's a yeah. lot more feasible, like learning the guitar. I don't, I'd have to start from scratch and it takes so long to get good at that. But like, that'd be a pretty fun skill. I've always wanted to piano, drum set, like the whole thing. Like it'd be so much fun and it just expedite that process. You said reasonably good at music or reasonably good at sports, right? Both reasonable or was it like really good at music? Yeah. Equal levels of good. Okay. Like, so are we talking like, like college scholarship or well, I don't college know, walk man. on? That, because if you're reasonably good at no, sports, let's, I mean, no, you're just, you're just a high schooler. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's say like college walk on, okay. you're not going to go pro. And so the okay. same for music where like you could, be like in like groups for like at that point you would just do it for fun but you're just you're not gonna get anything out you're not gonna get like a career out of it no yeah that's a hobby like there's still so much more clout being on like a division three baseball team yeah. there is being in like the school's orchestra nothing wrong with doing either of those like well, the class different does feel and i have mad respect for her but like why would you yeah. play viola if you? But could to be play fair, though. But to be fair, though, the class piano. different. Some people there are like a lot of people that would think the viola is cooler because a lot. I know there are people that don't like sports. But what do you think is cooler, and what would more you people like sports? Though. Sports. Yeah. So who cares? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Only clout that matters is the clout from within. That's facts. I straight up. water all over myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's what I'll say. Like. When it comes to at least the music side, because I, I think well, you guys mostly think that like sports are better to like, it, it's better to be reasonably good at sports than it is music. I would say, you know, buying the instruments themselves to like that you're already going to be good at. That's like a lot of money, like thousands of dollars just to get like 
you know, a drum set, a guitar, and a piano. Because those are like three super popular instruments that are about like, to thousands popular. of dollars. I that, it's a couple like, hundred, but if you're like a D3 athlete, it's a couple you're... hundred for one guitar. And yeah, and then like exactly what you're saying. You want some sports equipment, that's pretty it's also cheap. kind of expensive. Mm-hmm. Baseball I mean, bats are a hell of a lot less cheap than it, like instruments. Though. Yeah, you I mean, can, yeah, I feel like but... you can just, like, I feel like sports can be cheaper because instruments are hella expensive. Sports, mm-hmm. especially some cheaper. sports like basketball or soccer, all you need is a yeah. ball. Yeah. Yeah. Running I mean, that I just, just track, you just need you. Yeah, I'd say Facts. short term, I would want to be better at sports, but being able to be really good at music and as good as I am at sports might be worth it. Spread it out type thing, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So th- that brings me to probably my last two points, which are one, when it comes to like uh, sports, I'm only going to want to be good at sports until I'm like 30 maybe like a like little bit after. After that, I'm probably never going to play a sport in my life. What about so golf? No point. Uh, sure. Oh, I'll imagine being really good point. at golf. I don't like, think it matters to be good at that. But okay, yes. I'm still going to play one sport until I'm like in my, like in the, my like later parts of my life. Whereas when it comes to music, hard. you can do that yeah, my at any time, ball. any point, anywhere. There, there are sports for your older ages, I'd say. Like let's say, Bowling. let's say you're – you have like a business job or whatnot and people play golf and business jobs all the time. Let's say you just smack the ball and you get birdies every hole. That's, that's, you're going to have mad respect. Or even parts. Maybe 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 your boss sees it. You become CEO of the company and now you're a multimillionaire. All because of a golf game. All because of golf. Because that's totally reasonable. Yeah. Just become CEO. I mean, there's definitely pros and cons to either, but it's also golf you can get good at. If you mm. practice, so. Okay, well, yeah. yeah you just gotta wait. Yeah, you can get good at anything yes, if you, you practice good at both. Golf, that's an expensive sport. Clubs, it is clubs expensive. Cheap. It, you know what sucks? Like the cheapest, like even long short, like that's fifty eight bucks per person. That's pretty cheap for golf, but it's just expensive. Like most golf courses can be upwards of seventy dollars, yeah. eighty dollars. Yeah, it's a rich Why would sport. you pay money for golf when you could just get a bunch of chalky milk and just chill? Cheers it just that. sounds exactly. so much better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my right. Snickers chalky milk today was like one ninety nine. That was that was dude once for the, the key, price point. Once, oh. once, once the queue is over, we got to try all different types of like random yep. stuff. Yeah, oh, got to get really indie and alternative. Uh, um, <laughs> all right, okay, the next yeah. would you rather is would you rather only be able? All right, for both of these, it's like time travel. You can. Would you rather only be able to time travel? To stuff that's already happened and you could come back to the present or to the future and again you could come back to the present i don't want to know my future yeah, I, don't I don't think, think our future is looking good just as a whole i think um, it's just and that weird. too but you weird. have to be careful about traveling back because you could literally yeah just i know fuck up everything let's just uh, I, I mean that's true but for the so sake all things of argument, all, all things staying the same like if you could just go back and then come back it doesn't matter nothing would change i'd probably go back yeah like time. i don't want to go see my future wait can you like go to the past and like I let's say let's say myself. you say something dumb or something you can go back and like change what you say you know what you didn't make your own rules. I think All right, because be, if that's the case, I've done that too many mm-hmm. times. So I'd go to the past and change everything and just be a more, uh, I'd say, more complete sentences and stuff. I'd go back and not get mono. Oh, yeah. That's the respect only thing that. I'd want to change. Mm-hmm. I'd go back I'd... and stop myself from being Canadian. <laughs> so you'd stop yourself from being born? Because that's a whole type of paradox. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, here's what Hi. I'll say about all this. I think if you if you have the ability to travel backwards, then you live forever. So that's what you do. Oh, no, because you could just keep starting over. But you, you yourself, if you go back, you're still get the same really age. old, and then travel backwards again. No, but you you time but, doesn't go through you. You go through time. Yeah, yeah I like that. I get to make the is, rules in this. That's what Will mm, said. So I mean, all right, yeah, you could argue that. Sure. But do you really want to live forever? What? Uh, the no, it's, it's worth it giving suit, a shot for a little wait, while, if, isn't it? Here's, I would want to live forever. I love a couple if lifetimes. I had other people that could also live forever. If I'm the only person that can live forever, it'd be so lonely because you can't get attached to anybody yeah. because you'd literally see them die over and over and over again. Yes, yeah, so you got sad. really bored, and it's been like two months of quarantine. So I think you living forever is just a recipe for disaster. Yeah. <laughs> so bored. I'm so bored. 
like you corn really? like when you're a retired senior citizen oh, every I'm day gonna, is quarantine that's gonna suck what do you do i really oh, that's gonna, gonna suck war zone we'll win the gulag <laughs> would you guys want to live forever <laughs> no nah. another i absolutely would not want to live no. no 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 all right cool we all agree on that nice. yeah um tyler wrote this would you rather read the book or watch the movie 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 I can't Tell, read. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm legally illiterate. I got this book though <laughs> for my uh, fraternity. It's a virtual it, trip to Greece because ah. I can't be uh, can't go to Greece. Sorry about but, that. Uh, I have so to read sad. this book. Death, it's the okay. question was: Would you rather read the book or watch the movie? Movie. All Any right, day. cool. I do need to learn how to read though. Like I, I, I started reading a book. It's movie. Like seven uh seven uh habits of highly effective people because I want to be highly oh, effective. Wow. I fall asleep um, when I read books. Like I just want to watch yeah, it and I be gotta, excited and you know I gotta I don't, learn how to when do it. When I go to a movie disorder. Here's the thing. <laughs> like because no, people, like literally people I feel like who that read would are smarter. Be They're just straight. No, that smarter. literally no, that definitely doesn't I disagree. Help. But it's a but different type of person. That's all. Even if I want to go see, like, even if I, like, when I want to be entertained and I don't really want to, I'm in one of those moods where I don't want to kind of think about anything. Just a good movie where you just go, you don't have to think, you just know what's happening. Like, that's, that's the type of times when I'm going to want to go watch movies and stuff. That really explains why you like Marvel movies so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, dude, such a guilty pleasure. Christ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My computer's all types of not function. Oh, it's back. Hello. Oh, good. Mm. Also, kind of like adjacent question is, would you rather like watch a movie or watch a TV show? Or like, which movie. do you prefer? TV show. TV show. Okay. That depends. It's hard. 30 it's hard. minutes each. Hang on. But, and That's- you can, they get so much you can get more in depth with the character you can see them in more situations mm-hmm. uh, the situation itself can be explained much better some some movies they're perfect but sometimes i'm like oh i want to see more so here's where i here's where i say this i like movies better but the the thing i like most is when the movie is in a series so yeah, that's, that's why like the marvel like the marvel movies like the series you still build the character development you build that thing i feel I like just, that's that's like that's just tv shows but the episodes are two hours long yeah i don't know i just i i, I don't know i'm just more it's more appealing for me can't really explain it just enjoy it more that's awesome I, yeah i don't know which one i would pick but i can say at least just like a good counter argument for movies and especially against tv shows is that while yes, there's more space to sort of flesh out characters and like different ideas and stuff. The problem is, or at least you could also argue is like there's way more, there's more opportunities for a show to ruin good character development and stuff. Like once a show becomes successful, it's really easy for like somebody to be like, oh, we're going to make nine more seasons now because people yeah. love this. And then it gets just terrible and you hate it and then everything's ruined. Yeah, There's just an opportunity to ruin it like that. Whereas a movie is so much more conclusive. Um, they're like, especially with like good, like good movies, there are really are usually aren't like sequels. I think we're seeing more like situations yeah. where people make sequels for like stuff like that, but it happens so much less. Whereas in TV shows, it's, it's you see it all the time. We're in a show just like runs thing too about, long. Really- the thing about TV shows is they tend to keep going until like it's not like people don't want to watch it anymore, but movies, some like, sometimes not always but movies usually kind of make you want to see more not always but i've just noticed that a lot of movies that i've seen even though it's ended you're like wow like i've been, i enjoyed that beginning to end i'll just say this though like best show of all time best movie of all time i'm taking a show an average show average movie like i don't know maybe i'd want to see the show a horrible show a horrible movie the movie's going to be over faster so like I'm thinking like if you're watching something of high quality, like Breaking Bad, for example, that didn't just go until it ran out. It told a story and knew where it wanted to go. Each season got better. And when they were done with their story, they finished it up. Mm-hmm. But that and a lot of people like the good, the, the Godfathers, like a lot of people say is like one of the best movies of all time. I haven't seen it yet, unfortunately. I seen it either. But it's like one of those things like, why well, wouldn't I would want to watch like 50 hours worth of high quality entertainment versus three hours mm-hmm. that's just that's just my take on it yeah. i think it's I, I find when i watch shows that i enjoy and it's spread out it's just 
at some point for me, even though it's like, it's good content, it just somewhat feels like it's dragging on. Even if it's still good because it's that, like that much time of watching it, I just feel like sometimes towards the end, even if it's good, you just kind of get tired. Like, have you ever eaten so much of one thing? But even if it's a good, you like the thi- like the food you're eating, by the end of it, you just kind of get sick of it. And, but you could pick it up later and still like it. But if you eat a lot of it all at once, I don't know. It just kind of gets. Bad. Well, that's but if the you beauty eat- of a show. You don't have to watch in one sitting. You can watch like a season a week, a season oh, yeah. a month. Watch yeah. half of it now. Wait I a mean, while. For movies, I just find like I'm just eating a, like a good chunk of it, basically up right up until you eat movies. Uh, I don't really want to eat like watch it anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Dude, movies are so unhealthy for you. You shouldn't be eating those. Yeah, they're, come on, they're pretty, man. Uh, Is that what you guys do in Canada? I was eat them yeah exactly bro that's crazy and also like with a show like you can i don't know you get so invested in it if you like it and it, you know but i, I do the same thing in movies that's the thing if you, really like you watch one movie there's no sequel it's two and a half hours long you're gonna be i will get that, you're so be, into it not in the moment i'm saying like two years from now are you still gonna like analyze the situations yes. and the characters and like feel like they're your friends interstellar that's just crazy all right i've seen interstellar and i was like all right it's good it's a high quality movie i thought it was a interstellar i'm not thinking also about the avengers. i don't even know matthew mcconaughey's name in the in the movie do you <laughs> do, you know the, do you know any of the characters oh, names oh um What's ah oh, fuck it whatever I'm not even gonna right, try. Right, like, oh, it, well. But I know what other than like I'm not good with names anyways. But I know like every scene and I can explain to you beginning to end what happens. Same with Avengers. Like I can tell you what movie, what scene is from what movie, who's involved in those scenes. I just built especially the Avengers movies. Like I built up that like. I get so invested. I, like, I would feel argue empty when Avengers it's done. Barely even counts as movies. There's like twenty of them. That's arguably a series. Star Wars. Again, I mean that's kind of different. That's a, like, yeah, I like movie time, series. But... That's the thing. Yeah, that's like cheating. That's cheating. That's, that's it's like you're it's like you're the like, Astros and you're banging the trash can, man. That's that's straight up cheating. That's like is, saying, usually, oh, but here's the difference. Here's the difference. Usually between movies, it's a couple. It's a year. It's a couple years. I'm not going to watch one episode of a show and then like a year later watch another episode of well, a show. Well, that's how shows originally came out. You watch one a week for a couple months and then wait yeah. a year. So That's facts. Um, Tyler, you were going to say you something. You know, that think. depends. Game of, Game, of, Game of Thrones, though, but low-key that almost felt like a movie every time. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's a, I mean, just because the production quality was really good doesn't make it a movie. But that's, yeah. that's a you know what? Thing. Maybe that's why I like movies better because a lot of movies have better production quality. All right, see, that's that's the first uh, point you've made that I could say like, yeah, I'm not going to tear that down. That's probably one of the reasons Congrats. Why I probably mm-hmm. like shows better because I like good production enough. quality. If it's a bad, that's why a lot of the time I'm not a huge fan of older movies, even if it's well made and at the time like it was it was the top of it was the best movie it's just less enjoyable for me, you know? Mm-hmm. I'll crazy. just say, because you're a blockbuster the day, movie guy. <laughs> yeah. At the end Avatar? of the day, all this just comes down to opinion, you know? I like, mean, that's the it's whole like, point, though. Hold up. When Tyler's done, we're going to come back to that, Will. Uh, okay, all this comes down to opinion. You can like the format of one more than the other, They're, but movies and TV are most, for the most part, the same thing presented in a different formatted package. It's the same type of content, yeah. whether it be comedy, horror, et cetera. There are horror TV shows, there are horror movies. There's like, it's almost the exact same thing, just presented differently. And yeah. I think that like, that's okay. If you can like one format more than the other, that's fine. But generally we all like the same thing. It's just opinion. I also- yeah, we all like both, but just for the sake of discussion, like fight for your side, you know? Yeah. So two things. First one, to kind of to help me get away from thinking like the movies are repetitive, I go into every movie like it's a new movie, even if it's like similar and kind of the same. It's got the like the whole storyline is the same as every other storyline in any movie. But I go into the movie being like, this is like this like I'm going to enjoy the movie. And then I do like, I have no expectations when I go into movies. That's why I, I like, I like, yeah, Adam, dude, I like every Adam Sandler big movie. Move, man. 
Wow, I don't Big respect ups. your opinion. <laughs> yeah, I know it's fine. Nobody thinks um, everybody hates Adam Sandler. Ooh. I love all of his movies. Kind of long time, one, by the way. One reason that I don't like Adam Sandler movies is because a lot of his characters use mental disability as like, haha, he's so fucking stupid because he's special. I don't think that's funny. That's okay, not Waterboy. Funny. Waterboy. I never. I, okay, never to be fair, I didn't movie. like Waterboy. I didn't like. It was like one of the only ones I didn't like. Happy Gilmore, even like, though. Oh, baby. Yeah, I loved Happy I, I, Gilmore. That's a classic. That's me but, when I play golf. Have you guys seen The Longest the Yard? Dares. No, With but even that it? one. Was that like the Bobby Briggs or whatever? Well, he was just like a football player that shaved points. And then he went to prison. And then they were like, this prison guard, this prison oh, warden no, no, was no. like, you know, he was like, loved football. So he was like, teach my team. And then it was guards mm. versus the prison prisoners. Hey, we've been talking yeah. about movies for like 10 minutes and so I want right. to bang my head against the wall. Can we please move on? I like yeah. Well, that's it's, the last it's opinion, topic okay? We it's uh, opinion. That's, we, that's uh, it. This is all opinion. Yeah, like 50 minutes on the spot. Right. So. so we can have a last like uh, hot, like lightning round, but there's okay. just Lightning one. round, yeah. Or cold vacation or warm vacation? Cold. 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 Thank you. Let's go. you guys like skiing, right? Skiing, uh, skiing yeah. I also, just, <laughs> I also just don't do well in the heat. I don't know. I, I, I'm more Canadian awake. Born I'm more yeah, awake. Canada, man. That's crazy. All right. Um, warm is good. Cold is better. Warm is good. Cold is better. You can no, always get not, warm with blankets, like skiing, but there's only so yeah. many layers you can take off. I mean, yeah, that's f- true, but just for me, like, I have no desire. I really, I mean, I do have a desire to go to, like, cold places, but... I don't know. I don't ski, okay. so there's not Keep much going. for me to do. And Just then, do an opinion. like mountain or beaches, that's a classic one. Yes. Um, I like mountains just for the mountains, sake of like, yeah. I don't think of that as a vacation. I just think of that as like, where do you want to vibe? I think it's the vibe. I, I think know. you just, each one has a different vibe and, you know, it changes yes, depending the, on the. It's you know, the, like, the point, Des. You know, what I mean by that is like, that's hard to choose because sometimes like, I would definitely rather choose a mountain, but sometimes you just. You can't go wrong with either. Yeah. No, yeah, you're going to be fine either way. Mountains or beach? Mm. Mountain. What's your, what's your, All right, or, there you go. Awesome. Dude, what an opinion, uh, bro. Unreal. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. But look, I think, it's a, I think it's a good place to wrap things up. It's definitely a longer episode, but uh, very substantial topics. Um, look, Andrew Podesky, all, otherwise known as Desk, named after a furniture. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for coming and being a special guest. I hope you really enjoyed uh, your Yeah, this was a blast, guys. Thanks Talk for having me. Podcast. Um, look, big things from us coming up. Uh, we're on the road to 1,000. Just need a few more, as I said earlier. Please subscribe uh, to the Chalky Milk Gang. Uh, look, please like the videos. It helps us out a lot as we – totally generate ad revenue and, uh, <laughs> yeah. for feel, look, feel seriously feel free to like the video if you want us to go to ikea and find a new de- piece of furniture to have featured next week we'll yeah. definitely uh, make any suggestions i think couch is the next way to go ca- couch is good couch, couch is definitely the next way to go we'll see if table wants to join that, that's a chair oh chair. hey yo we'll have a chair, chair next week we'll guys look at chair next week like if you want guest. chair to come chair. on next week mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um but for real though like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. Uh, like, subscribe, hey. and peace. All right, no, you're, no. you're not. <laughs> he thought he was outroing us like yeah, that. Yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Special guest. Um, Is that your yeah, podcast? Look, expect, uh, expect new episodes every Wednesday. And uh, until next time, uh, thank you for having us, and see you later.